Days Gone gives us a great opportunity to play post-apocalyptic bingo. A lead character who's a ruthless pragmatist, but also honorable with a tragic backstory. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Scarce resources, which must be managed carefully, combined with crafting new weapons and equipment from bits of stuff found lying about. Needed this. Gangs of cultists slash cannibals slash a general criminal element taking advantage of the collapse of civilization to behave badly. And zombie slash infected humans roaming around being a bit bitey. House! PlayStation exclusive Days Gone initially looks like a post-apocalyptic greatest hit. Standing out in a space more crowded than a zombie-filled Tokyo tube is hard work. So, is this game an example of flogging an undead horse? Hell no! It could well have been, but Days Gone manages to pull together these well-worn elements in a slick and satisfying way. Catch! The player is cast as biker and bounty hunter Deacon St John, equipped with a customizable motorbike with which to traverse an open world littered with survivor camps which offer the chance to resupply and pick up new missions. So far, so par for the post-apocalyptic course. But this game distinguishes itself in what at first seems like subtle ways. Combat, for instance, is really, really good. Shootouts often have a pace and fluidity to them that makes the player feel as if they're laying down rounds a Hollywood blockbuster. Like that, huh? Lots of games claim that the player can choose their style of play, whether it be stealthy or gung-ho, guns blazing. But this game does actually live up to that. A sneaky approach can work equally as well as lobbing grenades and blasting away with an AK. Indeed, the two approaches can be switched between during combat. The main antagonist, the Freakers, can be used to great effect to help disrupt, distract, or plain old destroy human enemies as well. A really nasty, but satisfying touch. Once the Freakers have spotted you, they absolutely will not stop when it comes to chasing you. A note on the Freakers, they make excellent bad guys. They're more dangerous at night time as well, often huddling in nests. Ooh. Take them out while it's still light out. There'll be more of them, but they won't be as strong. Nests which the player can choose to clear out, which will make that part of the map safer to travel through, although nest clearing comes with its own challenges. They become an even bigger problem when they swarm together in giant herds. This, combined with wildlife, which often attempts to take chunks out of the player, makes for an environment which, although beautifully realised, is more dangerous than chucking out time on a Saturday night. The problem set in with the missions, which are rather dull and samey, as are most of the grizzled survivors you encounter handing out those tasks. The game's story is often revealed in flashback, and while it aspires to pack the emotional punch of big-budget TV dramas, it really does lack the depth and quality of post-apocalyptic epics like The Last of Us. Yeah. I'm here anyway, what do you got? Now that's more like it. Ultimately, Days Gone is filled with nice touches and it looks great, but it all feels like a strict video version of the apocalypse, rather than the blockbuster it thinks it is. A good, but not great, end of the world.